Korea is an exciting, dynamic country. There are so many things to do and enjoy. What makes this country even better is an excellent public transportation system. In today's video, we will introduce different types of public transportation and the methods to use them. While you might be accustomed to other map applications, the most useful and informative applications to use in Korea are Naver Map and Kakao Map. They will be your greatest asset getting around the country. Let us introduce you to some of the most useful features. First, you can get directions. Press the blue button on the top right and simply insert your starting point and destination. It will display the most optimal route along with many options you can select from. Next, the bus information. Zoom in on the map, you will notice blue bus icons. These are the bus stops. You can also get information about the subway on the app. Furthermore, you can bookmark places you want to visit later and create your own favorites list. There are many other useful features you can check out on these apps. So if you haven't downloaded it yet, hurry up and do so. The T-Money card is a popular prepaid transportation card in South Korea. It is useful pairing fares on public transportation such as buses and subways across various cities, including Seoul. The card offers a cash-free travel experience, making it easier to get around without the need to buy individual tickets for each journey. You can easily recharge the card at various locations, including convenience stores and dedicated top-up machines at subway stations. The payment must be in cash. You can also use the T-Money app on your smartphone if you're a Galaxy user. First, find the recharge machine. Next, select your preferred language on the screen. Then, click the third button with the T-Money logo on the far right and touch the reloading the transit card button. Next, place your card on the loading pad and then select the amount of money you want to add. Insert a coin or cash and wait briefly while your T-Money card completes reloading. Finally, confirm your T-Money card's balance. You can find the mobile T-Money app on the Play Store for Android users. There are also passes you can purchase and be used unlimitedly. The first pass is the Kyu Tongin Card. You can find information on how to register and use on the GOSC Instagram account. The second pass, K-Pass, is to start the service in May. We will upload information on this in the description once more information is released. The subway system in the Seoul metropolitan area is renowned for its convenience, cleanness, and affordable prices. The T-Money card, tag your card or phone on the gate of the subway and when you exit, do the same. It is also possible to purchase a one-time ticket for a single journey. First, go to the subway station and find the ticket and card reload service machine. The machine can be set in Korean, English, Japanese, and Chinese. Press the one-time ticket. Click your destination and make the payment in cash. Only cash is accepted. When the orange card comes out, you can use it just like the T-Money card. Also, please remember to return the used one-time ticket to this machine. Simply insert your orange card and it will return your deposit of 500 won. The same goes for buses. Using the map applications, you will be able to check what bus lines you must take and which bus stop to transfer. Furthermore, as mentioned earlier, each bus stop has its own 5-digit code. You can check the code by clicking on the bus stop on the map application. The code can also be found at the bus stops too, either on the wall or the stand with the bus information. When boarding the bus, tag your T-Money card on the reader. Korea is currently moving towards a cash-free society, so many buses are getting rid of cash payment. Therefore, make sure you have your T-Money card or app ready. If you're paying for your friend, make sure to tell the driver Yin Seungyeo first. He or she will change the setting on the reader and then tell you to tag your card. Tag your card accordingly and you and your friend are good to go. Do not tag your card first. When getting off, make sure to press the stop request buzzer before you arrive at your bus stop. If you do not, the bus won't stop. To use the train, you can purchase tickets via the Korail app 
or the SRT app. You can also purchase tickets on site. First, let us introduce you to the application. Click on the top right where it says Wangbuk. This is for round trips. For one way trips, click Pyeongdo. Next, select the station you are heading from and the destination. Then, select the date, time, and number of passengers. Then, click the button on the bottom right. Select the trip you want to book and click Yeme. Click Kerjagi to make your payment. Next, press Taum. Finally, select your method of payment and complete your booking. Next, the on site ticket machine. First, find the ticket kiosk. Press Sengchapon Kume, the button on the top. Select your destination. Finally, select the time and number of passengers and make your payment. Make sure to go to the correct platform at the right time. If you're seated at the wrong seat, the crew will ask you for your ticket. So make sure to find your correct seat. The Express Bus ticket can be purchased via the T1 Go app. Click on Kosok Shiwe Tonga Yeme and select your departure and arrival bus terminal. Next, select the date and time. Then, select your seats. Finally, after all seats have been selected, click on Kaijiagi to make your payment. In Seoul, there are many express bus terminals, so search the route on the map applications and go to the correct bus terminal accordingly. You can also purchase the tickets at the terminals. Go to the ticket booth and simply tell them your destination. Compared to the public transportation, taxis in Korea are more expensive, but very useful when you are in a rush. Standard taxis in Korea can be divided into regular taxis and deluxe taxis. Regular taxis can be recognized by their yellow license plate and a roof sign that reads taxi. The car can be orange or white. Deluxe taxis consist of expensive vehicles and offer a higher standard of service than regular taxis with standard rates. These taxis are more expensive, usually black, and do not have a roof sign. You can directly call or wait for a taxi, or use an app to request one to your location. Apps are typically the most convenient option as you can check fare estimates beforehand. The most popular one is Kakao T, but you can also use Uber or UT as well. Open the app, log in with your Kakao account, choose taxi, find your departure, and arrival location. Now you can check the fare depending on the type of taxi. Choose one, process the payment, and wait for your driver to come. Make sure you wait for them at the right location you chose on the app. Here are some useful Korean phrases. Juk kajuseyo, go straight. Uhejeon, turn right. Chaohejeon, turn left. Yogiye seo jushimyeon demnida. Please stop here. We hope this video helps you get around Korea using the public transportation system. There are so many things to do in Korea, so utilize the public transportation and go explore this beautiful country.